I'm Lippy, I'm 26, I'm from Wembley, which is in northwest London, and they're calling me a social influencer, so I'm a social influencer. You already know, man, it's Fleecy Bambino from the Pop Out Boys. I'm 21, I'm from America, I'm from Brooklyn, New York. I'm an urban artist, man, I'm just pushing, trying to get out, regular. Name Andre. Um, 24 years old, I run my own company, a grand platform, also a radio presenter for Represent Radio from Northwest London as well. Hello, my name is Kenny Marcellus. I'm an artist, I'm from Brooklyn, New York, and I'm 22 years old. My name is Bola Jen, I'm an artist, I'm from North London. Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Hyper from Urban Mischief, I'm 22 years old, and I'm from Brooklyn, New York. How's the community out there? How do you get treated? Oh, how's the community? Uh, it depends on what aspect you look at. It. Like, are they friendly? Like, you like, know, like, do you guys have gangs? How I see it, everything in London, every time I see, like, movies or parties or anything, it's just a bunch of togetherness. And, like, I just love that shit. It's like no negative energy. When I hear London culture, I think peace and unity. Like, you guys are very open-minded people. You know, I have family members from there, so I know a little bit. You know, you guys are cool. A bad side everywhere, but yeah, yeah, we have gangs. We have gun crime, knife crime. What was it like growing up? It's a bit mad, you know? Like, I don't know, like, different stages brought different events. So, yeah, when I was young, it was more you, you didn't see the bigger picture of things. So you're just doing stupid stuff for stupid things. They make it look like only black people are doing crimes in London, innit? That's what it's like. That's what they, on the news and that, they'll make it look like it's only us. Like we're the only ones in gangs. We're the only one selling drugs and that. It's every community. When it's every community, every it's very. Got their own drug team yeah, London's country. very multicultural. We've got a lot of people. A lot of people from different backgrounds, environments. You could tell like peer pressure was like a lot <laughs> around around the area. Them times when I'm, I'm talking about growing up. They like to portray that in like yeah. a lot of movies from London. I I be watching like it's a lot of hood movies, like dramas, and it's like bare black on black crime going on in it. You know, fuckery. What London movies did you watch? Um, shit, I can't remember certain names, but I, I know a, I know a show. Named Top Boy. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that no, shit, that one. shit is lit. Yeah, that's a good one there. <laughs> are the communities divided in you guys' city? Like, are y'all separated in any way? I think we're slightly. Yeah, not, we are. We are. We are not. Do you know what it is? Yeah, it's when you're oh. young, you don't really notice it. Like you go in school with everyone and that. And then kind what? of, for me, when you get old... I you feel we're mad divided. Yeah, mad divided. Yeah, young. Yeah, yeah I know what you're saying. saying. You get me. When young. you're young, when you're in primary school and that, like, I used to have enough like Asian, Asian bridging, white mm. youth. But then as you get older, you start to realise that it's very divided. Like, everyone... No one really together, deals with... Like, yeah, it starts like, clinging together when you get around your teenagers. Like. Would you agree all... U.S. rappers sound the same at your your age. There's like a handful of us. There's a handful of uh, of uh, different you know rappers, but like for the most part, there's a lot of people doing the same shit. Hey, yeah, it's a lot of the same shit going on. But there's a handful of us that's different, you know, the five percenters. Like, when you're from New York, when you're from a different borough, you sound different. Like, if you're from Brooklyn, you sound like a Brooklyn person. When you're from yeah. Queens, you sound like a Queens person. Definitely. If you're from the Bronx, you sound like you're from the Bronx. When you're from Manhattan, you sound like you're from Manhattan, you're from Harlem, whatever, whatever. You yeah. can tell, you can tell. So you guys over there with your genre, like, you guys believe, like, you created your own or you kind of, like, plagiarized it with America a little bit? What do you think? No, I think we definitely got our own culture. Definitely, car. There's certain things, like I'll be in my car driving and sometimes I want to listen to UK, sometimes I want to listen to US. You guys have your own style. Like, I'll be listening to Ramsey, like, a, a, a bunch, a little few people, Ram like. Ramsey. Oh, Ramsey. <laughs> that is oh, oh, Rams, what, 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 um. Barking. Oh, Barking. Uh-huh. And then. No, no. <laughs> no I hear that. Oh, Barking. Barking. Yeah, it's it's YouTube, YouTube, man. <laughs> There's a, there's a couple, there's a couple guys out there that I, I listen to. I name me song. Alright, we got, alright, Ramsey, I said, then, what's the fucking guy name, son? 
You know about Giggs? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know him. He get, doesn't he have um songs with Drake? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, they must know Skepta. Yeah, I was just about to ask you about Skepta. That's a cool guy. Yeah, I definitely think we've got our own culture. I think obviously there's a lot of things that go through, go through like YouTube and stuff that could be similar to yours and a sort of a same flow, but they're adding different things. It's the same with it with like UK, because I think like with US, because I think certain things like certain rappers I listen to in the US, I think ah, oh, like I can I can tell they've been listening to UK music. And the same with UK rappers, I can tell they've been listening to US rappers, if you know what I mean. It's crazy because UK slang is like a Caribbean slang. Out yeah, here. it's that mm -hmm. patois, basically. Yes, oh, yeah, 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 like yeah, patois, yeah. yeah. Broken language. Yeah. Yes. Hey, that's that's like, how, like, certain, certain Caribbean mm -hmm. guys from, like, Brooklyn and Flatbush or Canarsie out here use certain uh, slang you guys use. Yeah. Growing up out here is just like living in the islands in a way. You got a little bit of everything. You got Jamaica, you got Trini, you got Haitian, Bar you know, people from Barbados. So it's just like a little bit of a lot of different cultures mixed in one place. So you get to know each other, you know, it's different. Tell us about one experience you've had with the police. All right, so like me and my friends, we was outside on my block or whatever, right? We always was drinking. Yeah, uh, yeah, I'm not sure if you guys know about um, <clears throat> the drink um, Sorrow. If you're Jamaican, you don't know about that. Another one there, you know what's going on. Sorrow. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Put a little rum in it and mix it up. So the cops came through or whatever. So I was like, yo, man, to make things easy for you, just give me the ticket. I don't want to go in for no damn liquor, no liquor beverage right now. And, like, my friends was laughing and all that like, because, like, it was just the easier way to go out. $25 ticket, easier. Because it was either that or they was going to take me in and write me up. So I just took the ticket one time. Did they really pull you into the court for everything over there? They bring you to court for anything. Like, literally, you could be smoking in the hallway. They charge you for the court fees and shit. Depends on if you're, if you're guilty, they're definitely going to charge you for what you got. So say, like, if you pissing in the street or something like that, you pissing in the corner. Oh, it happens here, but they don't, they don't care, yeah, man. It's not that. I be watching Judge Judy and that, and they be like, you get their mum, like the daughter bringing in their mum, and that it's mad. Yeah. <laughs> Do you guys ever get profiled by the police in like London? Like, how is that going on with the racial profiling? Yeah, yeah we're definitely getting profiled racial this time. Profile the other day, blood. I got stopped outside my yard, they said I do fraud. Nah, we definitely, definitely do, store. Like, even today, my guy, it's, it's funny you say that, car. My guy called me today saying, yo, I just got dragged out my car. And my man, he's lit, you know, like, he's not involved in, in, in no dramas or nothing, but he just drives a big car because of the job he's got. And they drag him, out of, drag him out of his car, saying he don't own it, they believe he's stolen it because he's in a tracksuit, black man in a tracksuit and that. And they don't believe he's driving that car, nice car, it's crazy. He, he took a picture, showed me all his wounds and that, cut knee, cut shoulder. They're all kicking him and that. It's mad, like. You to make a bag, bro. And that's, you get me? That's you mad. You to make a bag on Sue and But, you see, I don't know, man. Police, is, it's mad sometimes. Like, they're all good and proper when it's like, like, they're good for if you, if you lose your child or, your, or something mad happen, you get me? But, you see, when it comes to certain things where they think you're just minding your own business and they just want to bother you, it's mad. It's crazy, man. Yeah, for me, black, not even amongst the youth, like the the relationship that, that the police that black people have with the police in London is not good. Like there's no trust there. Um, I, I've never them. called the police in my life. Have you called the police? It's a lot of pressure on being a black youth, a black youth in London City. Grew up getting harassed by the police. Um, got involved in gangs. Got into a little bit of trouble with the law. I, I remember when the police set man up. I, I, I took them in for one time when I was young. I tried to take him in. I said, all right, let me see what them man have to say. One time I'm chilling. I, I'm on flipping, I'm on um, Central Avenue. Yeah. I'm, I'm calling now. And then, you know them community officers come over. They, they, we have community officers that they don't, they're not allowed to arrest you, but they can detain you until the real police come. Yeah. So they're walking around, whatever. They've, they've come to a group of us and they're just chatting, chatting. And we're thinking, yeah, it's calm. Everyone's thinking it's calm, but me, I just, it's, it, it just don't sit well with me, innit? Like, why are you coming to speak to us? So they're saying, no, oh, we're just telling you about the youth clubs and everything. So we're like, cool. Then I've gone round the corner. I've seen a, like a police van round the corner waiting, waiting to just spin on us. 
So they're basically distracting us so the police car can spin on us and search us all. And then everyone was taking them in and I'm saying, nah, I'm gone, I'm, I'm out of here now. And then just because of that, I just saw it. They're just trying to, they're basically lying to me. Like they're just trying to have a conversation with me. So they're, it's yeah, deception, deceiving. isn't it? Yeah, deceiving yeah, me. Deceiving. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, nah, they don't treat us good. I'll be honest, like it's almost, I'll be, I remember before I was even involved with anything to do with police, like youths would tell me like not to trust them, like all the youths and that. I'd see that, not necessarily my parents, but like all the people in my family and that they showed they didn't trust police. So I just growing up. I, I can't lie, what them. you see when you're around black communities, bro, this, that's what it's like. Yeah, yeah they don't. Well, my, grew up, my family hate police, but this, no, don't trust yeah, the police, don't trust the police. police. Don't, that's what I'm saying, I, can't, I don't even know of anyone in my family that's called police before. And they've been in situations where they would need police. But <laughs> man can't, you know that, that's can't do man it, can't call like, them. Can't do but they won't deal with man the same. It's as simple as that, they don't. A couple years ago, and there was a brother from North London, Tottenham, called Mark Duggan, and the police killed him for, for no reason. They said, they said he had a gun on him. First, the media said he had a gun on him. Then they said they found a gun near the scene. Then they said he's, he was known for having guns. Or you know what it is? It's not even a fact that he had a gun. Like. Mm. Call everyone for themselves, innit? Like if you get if you get nick with a gun, you get nick with a gun, innit? Mm. By all means. But for him to get shot down mm. for having a gun, that's mad. He didn't have a gun. That's that's the issue. Fair <laughs> enough, he had a gun, car that at least the, the I, I thought the say. issue was that he's backed out the gun on exactly, them. Exactly, but that's that's, that's what they said. But it was said, a lie. So it means lie. they just shot yeah, him. That's mad. You feel me? So that's why it's a mad thing. So yeah, basically. There was riots all over the country and that. Um, police brutality happens every day, innit? But they make it seem like... Obviously, it's, it's happened before Mark, Mark Duggan and it's happened after. But obviously, this was, for me... Big vocal. The, the, not the first that the media like put out, but they, they, they made it a big thing. Well, it was. It was riots. Yeah. The whole country... Man, was e even, even what? Not too long ago, what? A man... Did they choke the, the little did boy? It? Yeah, the little boy. They choke him in the shop. Yeah, they choke. Did they they, choke they, they said we believe he, he swallowed. He swallowed a pack. He swallowed and, drugs. And then he didn't. Uh, the the autopsy came back. He didn't swallow so, no yeah, drugs. They're just, kill, they're just killing us. And my man choked my man out on the floor. Man. Man, not on, look at this American you. I don't hear you still, but I don't. I don't, I don't feel lean as. What as crap? Has. It's changed the world. Them. Crack How changed the world. Can't. Police say they're scared of us and shit. That's why they shoot us down. People are about to rob something about out the store or something. Just because we black and young. What's the roughest part in London? Well, right now, you won't even know. Like, you know what it is? Everyone thinks they're bad nowadays. Yeah. So it's not even a... Like, it's different. You can't even... Like, back in the day, you could probably say, yeah, pinpoint a certain areas. But mm. now, you know anyone is, can yeah. get it, man. It's 